Sometimes we have to write blocks of code over and over again with the minor differences. PHPStorm's live templates feature can speed up this process incredibly. Right now we are looking at a Codeception test file. We have one test which tests to see if we are receiving a JSON response after hitting an endpoint of an API. We will be adding more tests to this file and end up reusing some code. So let's create a live template. I would like to take the entire method as our live template. So select the code that you'd like to use as your live template, then do Control Shift A to bring up the search action box. What you can then do is say, save as live template, then hit enter. It'll bring up the save as live template menu. You can see under user, we have our new custom live template. And first of all, start with abbreviation. This is what you will type to initiate the live template. So what you would type is, I guess, test endpoint. For description, we can have a new test for a or an end point. We'll just bring this up a bit. You can see this is the code we've selected to use as our live template. Let's just neaten that up a bit. And then it says applicable in PHP class member. We can change this to various things. We can include it everywhere, or let's just do all PHP for now. Then hit OK. So let's try to use our live template. Test, and then we go, we have test endpoint. Hit enter, and it's done it for us. It's, it's pretty much much quicker than a copy and paste. But we'll still have to go in here and type the, the method name again the I want to all this stuff. So let's change this. We can get rid of this. Now do control alt s, it'll take you to the settings menu in the search box type live template. We go and select user and then our test endpoint. We we'll bring this up a bit. And now we can actually use variables in this live template. So let's get rid of this name because it's something that's going to be different each time. And we can start with the dollar sign and say method name and close with the dollar sign. Now let's do the same for our description here. So we can just make that description and close the dollar sign and the endpoint as well. And let's make that endpoint. There's some options over here as well, like a default value or skip if defined. So if you want to dive into that, you can. We don't need to for this. Let's hit OK. Test endpoint and hit enter. You see our cursor is already at the method name. We can say it will return all terms. Now we press tab to go to the next place. And I want to see all terms. Hit tab. And that'll be our endpoint, just terms for now. Hit tab and we're done. So that's how you use live templates, guys. It's really useful. Every time you find yourself duplicating code, just create a live template and it'll make your life much simpler. So thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button.